السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Huda. Today is episode 3 in Do you know? We're gonna learn lots of information about bees, toucans, constrictor snakes, and hippos. Let's start. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي بسم الله. How does a young honeybee become a queen? The honeybees that look after the larvae produce a thick liquid from a gland on their heads called royal jelly. Biologists also refer to it as bee milk because it's not just the royal queens that eat it. Every developing larva gets a little bit of the jelly mixed in with their diet of pollen. However, the larva that is to become the nest's next queen is fed nothing but, but bee milk. Bee milk is, highly, is a highly nutritious food and the, lo, the royal larva grows to twice the, th the size of a worker bee. If two or more new queens are reared at the same time, they will fight to, de to, to the death until a single winner remains. Do you know the queen does not feed young or maintain the nest, but she's very busy. She patrols the nest, laying eggs in empty cells. Her patrol also spreads her scent through the nest. This smell lets the workers know who's boss. Let's learn our new vocabulary. Royal. Royal is an adjective and it means relating to the king or the queen or being a member of their family. Example, the queen lives in the royal palace. Nutritious. Nutritious is an adjective. It means full of nutrients. The synonym is nourishing. Example, fruits and vegetables are nutritious. Rear. Rear is a verb and it means to bring up or care for a children until he's full grown. For a child until he's full grown. Synonym is bring up. Example, the mother reared her children. Let's learn about tokens. How do tokens eat fruit? When a token feeds on fruits, such as small berries, it uses just the tip of its beak to twist or pull a juicy item of a branch. But it's a long way from the tip of this massive beak to the back of the token's throat. The token has a smart, a smart way of getting over this problem. Holding the fruit lightly, the bird tosses it high in the air. At the same time, the token opens its beak wide. The fruit lands in the bird's throat and is instantly swallowed whole. Tokens never seem to miss their aim. To eat bigger fruits with tough skins, tokens break up the food with their beaks to get at the, the insides. Do you know soft squishy fruit makes beaks sticky? So, tokens always clean themselves up after eating. They can often be seen rubbing their beaks against branches or using their feet to scrape away the remains of a meal. Let's learn our new vocabulary. Massive. Massive is an adjective. It means very big. Example. Tokens have massive beaks. Toss. Toss is a verb and it means to throw. Example. He tosses a ball high in the air. Let's learn about constrictor snakes. How do snakes squeeze their prey to death? Snakes that squeeze their prey to death are called constrictors. The most powerful constrictors are the pythons and bows. They are big snakes that coil their bodies tightly around a victim so that it cannot escape. Many people think that snakes then crush their prey to death. So, the victim's bones break and their internal organs are squashed. In fact, constrictors suffocate their prey. At first, 
the prey tries to struggle free, but moving around actually helps the snake to tighten its grip. Eventually, the prey cannot move at all. Every time it breathes out, the snake tightens the, the grip a little more. Eventually, the grip is so tight that the prey cannot even breathe in. Without air, the prey will soon die. Do you know the rubber bow is a small constricting, uh, constricting snake that lives in western North America? It is only 30 centimeters long. It has a tube-shaped body that is covered in shiny scales. The bow is named after the feel of these soft scales. And now, let's learn about hippos. Why are hippos so dangerous? A hippo opens its massive jaws and shows its huge tasks as a threat. Forget lions, leopards, and crocodiles. More people are killed by hippos than by any other large animal in Africa. This surprising statistics is a result of the fact that fishermen in small boats sometimes accidentally disturb hippos snoozing in the water. Hippos do not kill for food. They are strict vegetarians. But they have very short tempers and don't like to be disturbed. They lie low in the water with only their ears and nostrils showing, so it can be difficult to spot them and steer clear. A startled hippo reacts by biting the boat and sadly the people in it are often killed, either by one of the hippo's huge teeth or by drowning. Do you know that? Male hippos are very territorial and will regard anything that comes near as a threat. Rival males gape to show off their teeth, which can be up to 50 centimeters long. And now let's learn our new vocabulary. Short temper. Short temper means tendency to become angry quickly. For example, angry bird has short temper. Startled. Startled is an adjective or the past tense of the verb startle. Startled is to feel sudden shock or, shock or alarm. The synonym, the synonym is surprise or scare. Example, she was in deep sleep when the phone ring her. She was in deep sleep when the phone ring started, startled her. Territorial. Territorial is an adjective and it means a man or animal who defends the area it belongs. For example, dogs are territorial. They bark when they hear a stranger. Question time! What do real larv larvae eat? A. Flower nectar B. Honey C. Royal jelly D. All of the above. The right answer is C. Royal jelly. What do two kids eat? A. Fro fruits. Fruits. B. Vegetables. C. Seeds. Seeds. D. Beet. The right answer is A fruits. Thank you, Lulu. How do constrictor snakes kill their prey? A they crush them to death. B they suffocate them. C they kill them by their venom. D none of the above. The right answer is they suffocate them. Number Thank three. you, Ruru. Why hippos kill people who come near them? A. Because they are meat eaters. B. Because they get angry when they are disturbed. C. Because they protect their calves. D. None of the above. The right answer is... C. B. Because they get angry when they are disturbed. Amazing. Thank you, girls. Until we meet again very soon, inshallah.
please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch our new videos thank you bye, bye. bye.